where you are from? I'm from Dudley, I am. Morning YouTubers. Welcome to my channel. Black Country Trucker here. Uh, rather pissed off because yesterday I was stuck in the traffic on the M1 for around about four hours. Um, I did a daily vlog yesterday as well. Got some good footage. Got reversing footage. Hell of a lot of footage. Good footage. And I ended up deleting it all. Schoolboy error. What a dickhead. Deleted the lot. I did start editing it. I had it going. It was. I thought it was looking good to be honest. And then for some reason I deleted it. And now you can download software to get stuff back that you've deleted. But I was just too upset. I had no tissue to cry into even and blow my nose. So anyway, no point crying about it, it's happened. So it's a new day, it's Wednesday. I'm going to start with a good daily vlog today. I've pulled over at some, I don't even know if it's a truck stop to be honest. Uh, I'm just off junction 13 of the M1. And I honestly couldn't tell you whether it was a truck stop or what. There's a lot of trucks here, don't get me wrong, but I spoke to someone last night. He says, no, I'm going to pay it's not their yard. Just off Junction 13, when you're heading north for the M1, you come off the junction, you do a left, and then you follow that round for about half a mile and do a left again, and there's a key fuels garage. And it's just there. But I've had to park right down the back of the yard I have. There's just no room for me at all. <laughs> down there. Well, up there, sorry. There's no room. It's rammed. There wasn't one space. But I do believe there is a proper truck stop. If I'm right in thinking this, there is a proper truck stop. Third run up. It was. I was already uh, 31 minutes out of my what, 15 hour yesterday because of that traffic. I would have made it to my first delivery last night, the Milton Keynes delivery that I had on, which you, you won't know about because I deleted all the footage. <laughs> uh, I would have made it to my Milton Keynes delivery and then probably made it to the Banbury one ready for this morning, but because of the traffic I didn't. And as I said, I ended up going to have a working time, which, you know, I've done a printout, there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. I've wrote the reason on the back of the printout. And a rat, big rat has just gone across, ugh, across the road. Um, so, I'm going to get some good footage up today, as I keep saying. So, back in a bit. Right, just doing a vehicle check. Um, reason is. You have to make sure your vehicle and your load is safe in the morning. And you have to show also at least 10 minutes on your taco that you've done a vehicle check. In other words, taco in every morning. Make sure it's another work. Get out your truck, do your vehicle check. Get back in your truck about 10, 15 minutes. That's all you're really checking for. There you go. All you're really checking for. Make sure the tread on your tyres are fine, you don't have punches, anything like that. Wheel nuts are all tight. You ain't got nothing sticking ahead of anywhere that's not supposed to be there. Everything's nice and tidy. Your boxer straps hasn't been nicked like what happened to me last week. Make sure everything's there. All your straps are nicely done up. They're not going to move anywhere. <coughs> I've already done the uh, the front lights.
checking everything. Obviously checking my tea plate. Back lights, make sure they're all right. I've already checked all my lights anyway, everything's fine with the lights. Obviously, you can go underneath the trailer if you want. <laughs> on a lay-by on the side of the road, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't say that's the best idea in the world. This is just a brief introduction on how you actually do it. Just making sure everything's okay. You've got to show at least 10 minutes. on your taco. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Had a shop come loose yesterday. But with my straps, you can see I'll strap up. Also, if you look at my straps, how tidy they are, my belief is with Vosa, they'll see if you, you know, the pasture or whatever. They'll see your straps are nice and tidy, and they'll know that you are bothered about your job, and you are bothered about how your load looks, and you're a safe driver, because you see a lot of people strap up, and they've just got straps everywhere, like some sort of spider's web. So, all nice and tidy. Right then, we shall be back with some road footage on the way to Milton Keynes. Out for now. Just leaving where I parked up. Gonna get back on the M1. Stay and a half miles to my first delivery, so all being well. They will be there and waiting for me, I'm hoping. As you can tell, it's still quite full. Yes, last night when I pulled up, there's literally no parking spaces. But I bet you all of these trucks are in the same traffic as me. Alright, don't mention it. Oh, thank you. We are about three minutes from our first delivery. Just on the A509.
we're going to do some reverse and I'll try and get the camera up on the back of the cab so you can see it too. Milton Keynes job is done. What a nightmare. Got to try and get out of here now. We are in the service road. So if I tilt that camera a little bit like that, hopefully, we should be able to see what I've got to put up with for about the next two or three minutes. This is going to be fun. John Lewis wagon in front of us, maybe. Looks like this poor bloke's unloaded himself. Crikey, man, this is going to be fun. Cheers, buddy. Around that tight corner. into them bays. Not that go. One more nice corner. I've <clears throat> got time to talk on the phone at the moment. Next job. Milton Keynes job is done. What a nightmare. Gotta try and get out of here now. We are in the service road. So if I tilt that camera a little bit like that, hopefully. We should be able to see what I've got to put up with for about the next two or three minutes. This is going to be fun. Bambury delivery. Not far now. I'll 
got to reverse into their yard off the island, as we've been told. So if I can stop, I'm going to get my camera on the back end to do reversing. And also, I'll see if I can do an unload with it as well. All depends if I can stop to put the camera on, because if I can't, then, well, no chance. So, let's see what happens. Back in the mile. That's the Banbury job done now. Now we're on the way back to Tipton. Uh, got a load up, uh, sorry, unload at Tipton. And I think I'm going up to Huddersfield to do a collection up there. So that's gonna be fun. I know that I'm heavily delayed. Righty ho then YouTubers I am at junction 2 of the M5 where it's going into the 30 mile an hour due to the roadworks which I can't actually see any roadworks other than cones but can't see anything being done not yet anyway um, so I'm getting off at junction 1 going down the A41 and then be heading into Tipton.
way to Rotherham now to do a collection on the M42. It's about 76 miles away, give or take. So as long as there's no traffic, we should be there at about 10 past quarter past two. Uh, the place we're going to got to go to their office first, get the paperwork and then go to their main building to load up. Hopefully there's going to be no vehicles in front waiting to be loaded but I've been there before and they've been queued outside and I've been there for hours. So fingers crossed, let's see what happens. We're at the Rotherham collection, so just got to sit here now and get loaded. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There's a, a truck being loaded in front of me, so as soon as he's loaded, they'll load me and then we'll be off. Could be a while. Been a long while indeed. Catch you in a bit. Right, on the way back from Rob Room on the M1. Um, Got to go back to Swaddling Coat. Unload a little bit and load a little bit. And I think we'll be done for the night. And back to Tipton early in the morning to unload and load up.